and I'm going to make a really lumpy and crappy curve because I'm no good at doing freehand curves. So please don't take the quality of my curve to be an indication of how well this works. A regular voxel, not an error voxel. I'm going to add it to the top. I'm going to make a layer. And this is the part that's kind of annoying. You end up, uh, oops, there's something to note. You have to make sure you've got it offset so it's facing the highest point when you do this. It has to be like in that position. You see a mirror on green and it goes up. It has to be in that position. Otherwise it's going to attach itself to the regular voxel. It's hard to see, but uh, if I move my camera, you can see like a little jaggedness here. There's actually air in between these two voxels. So now to keep the sides from getting smushed in when I smooth, I'm just going to put putty all along the edges to frame it. All right, now that I got my shape framed so it won't get destroyed, this is uh, shown in Domino Stream Pentapod. I'm going to smooth it. Now I'm just going to paint uh, in here so you know what's where. Because it's tricky to see the offsets. They don't look offset until you notice the selection box is not where it needs to be to actually target them. So that one's fully offset. That one's half offset. Now I've got a curve that is fully offset.